Hey, this is Katie with Following the Funks, and today we are exploring the ancient city of Patara. Patara is not only an ancient ruin, it is also a beach. You can see another video about that via my channel. Patara is one of the cities was part of the Lycian Union, along with the city of Xanthos, which I will also have a video posted about that. For any of those links, you can check down below or you can click on the boxes as they pop up in the corner of the screen. It's similar to Ephesus in the sense that Ephesus also used to be a very important port city and until that port area also silted up and the port area kept getting further and further away from the city. Patara has a few different cool things. One of them is this three arched gate. In the middle you can see is a little bit bigger um, as well as there's a little opening up at the top. This city dates BC. This gives you a good idea maybe of what could be excavated over in this area and maybe hasn't gotten to it yet. This gate has become the symbol of Patara uh, in the ruins around here. This area was the marina's bath or her mom. They also have these in Ephesus. A lot of times as people are coming in from um, being out at sea or even coming into the city, usually the hammams and the baths are right close to the city gate so they can come in after their long travels and be able to bathe um, and that kind of thing, <laughs> clean off from um, their travels. Look at these palm trees and the grouping. I don't know if I've ever seen palm trees have grow like this. So it's saying in the first line of the epic poem Iliad, it talks about the son of Leto and Zeus and the god that uh, Zeus begot in a lovely haired Leto boar. So this it's saying that this is the area that one of the goddesses actually birthed some of her children. <laughs> so it must be a very famous spot from back in the day. But what a beautiful little oasis of palm trees. Hey. Yeah. Get it girl. <laughs> We've moved on to the next section of this excavation, the theater and the church. It's amazing to see the cattle that still is using this area. We saw some cows and we saw some sheep and we saw a random little goat that has a bell on him so he belongs to somebody. Is it going, Sophia? Okay. Yeah. Do you have your sunglasses? Oh, did you see a dog? No, you see a goat over there, don't you? Do you know what the goat says? It says, nah. <laughs> This area is the Assembly Hall of the Lycian League. Assembly Hall was first started, or at least first constructed in the Hellenistic period, so the first BC. And the city of Patara is actually the capital city of that Lycian League. This area was just like a mini meeting area for the Lycian Council, and then behind it, a massive old theater. There's been some interesting restoration that has happened. Basically what's happening is that they're taking these structures from their original decay and they're creating them to be what they used to look like. Um, I kind of call it a rebuild. A lot of people are really frustrated at this because they're taking something that's old and ancient and they're um, what well, they say, ruining it. They're not leaving it in this structure so that we can imagine what it could be like. Um, so that's been an interesting conversation that's happened recently. Do you like exploring? Yeah. Is exploring fun? Yeah. Okay, let's go around here. Hey y'all, it was fun exploring Patara with you. I missed a few places. You get a general overview of what Patara looks like. If you're coming to Patara Beach, you should definitely take an hour or two early in the morning and just come and explore this area near it. There's lots to see. They've done such a great job on excavation. They're always improving. There's new sidewalks, there's new signs. There's lots of um, great things they're doing to these historical sites to help you learn more about this region and this area. I think out of these cities, that I've seen here. Patara may be my favorite. Myra, which is in another video, would be my favorite because of the tombs that are built into the rock wall. Xanath, just because I think it's overlooked. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed seeing all the things that I've seen today. Have you been to Patara? Would you stop by here if you're actually headed to the beach? It's all included in your entry. <laughs> I want to know. And to, oh gosh, that scared me. There were some goats right there. I was not expecting. Otherwise, um, I'd love to know what you think of this video. Please like it if you <laughs> do like this video, subscribe to our channel. And as always, I hope you have a great week and I will see you next time. Bye. Gulay, gulay.